Video games are a lot like assholes. There sure are a lot of them, and most of them stink. Some of them, however, are really, really good, and you want to spend a lot of time inside of them. Steam, on the other hand, is absolutely the exception to this rule. There are a lot of really bad games on Steam, as well as some really, really good ones. An example of a really, really good one would be the 59 cent 40% off hentai puzzle game. And that's really cool. Steam recommends it just because it's on sale. But anyways, I was looking through Steam's library the other day, trying to find a game that I wanted to spend my time playing, and I was greeted with this game, Road Trip. Now, I haven't actually played this game yet, but just by looking at this screenshot, it seems like it's gonna be a very interesting time. While this game installs, I just wanted to take a minute to read about it. Uh, and basically, after reading this whole entire paragraph, the point of this game is to travel across country and try and find the amazing Mr. Ribs. All in all, guys, I welcome you to come with me on this journey. This is the road trip. So by default, the settings are set to garbage and the texture quality is all the way down. I'm not sure if that's a meme or if my computer is terrible, but we're gonna leave it how it is. Through this game, you will be forced to make difficult choices. Some will make a huge impact on your story. Your primary goal is to cross all of Canada until you find a store selling Mr. Ribs which has been your lifelong goal for as long as you remember. God, don't fade it away, I'm not done reading it. On your journey, you will encounter a variety of hitchhikers with different stories. Depending on how you respond to them, it could cost you your life. Imagine that, just picking up a hitchhiker, and you, he asks you if you like his shoes, and you just say no, and he fucking shoots you. I mean, look at this dude on the bench's shoes, bro. He's killing it. What are those Yeezys? He's got the zebras on? <laughs> Jesus Christ! What the hell? Rise and shine, boy. You wouldn't believe what I saw on TV. Just tell me. It's back. And now you can get a delicious Mr. Rib Sandwich with a large order of America's favorite fries and a medium Coke for just $2.99. We have to go get that sandwich. Oh wow. My stomach is so big I can't see my feet. It's like real life. Nonetheless, this is about to be the easiest thing I've ever had to do. All I gotta do is get in the car and drive. Like, if I'm literally just driving cross country, I'll just run over all the hitchhikers and nothing will even happen. Let's go. All right, the car is broken. I'm just gonna walk, honestly. I don't know which way to go. Oh, um, honestly, like, what is a car mechanic, you know? What, what, what even is it? What even is it? Get out of my way, guy. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Oh god, what is... What? 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 I don't think this is supposed to be happening. Something tells me that wasn't right. Alright, so four days and one game crash later, I'm back. I figured out how to start the car. We're gonna head out now. And uh, now we're gonna be driving on our journey to get the Mr. Rib. I don't want to listen to the radio. How do I turn that off? Oh god. He thought the view was pretty. I thought he was prettier. These character models are honestly some of the best I've ever seen, dude. Like, the photorealism. Look at that arm. <laughs> I don't really think much needs to be said about the character models in this game. They are absolutely flawless. Look at the way that this man's arm goes through his shirt, bro. That wasn't an accident. That's to keep him warm. It gets cold in Nova Scotia, eh? So let me just set the scene really quick, right? You come to a beautiful park with beautiful benches, beautiful scenery, and you find a burger stand, okay? You go up to the kind man at the burger stand, and he asks you if you wanna buy a burger. You say yes. I can literally see through this man's head. What's not to trust about that? You're excited, you haven't eaten all day, you can feel the burger grease sweating out of your forehead. This is what he gives you. The half-eaten super deluxe Sal's Burger Whopper with cheese. But one is not enough. He gives you two half-eaten Super Sal's Whopper burgers with cheese. It's definitely not what I said the first time. Also, that looks like chicken. This game is actually weird as hell. So out here in Nova Scotia, Canada, when you're out on the open road, there's only one thing to do. That's get drunk. Try not to hit other drivers. Most people drive around drunk here, so be careful. I would never ever do that. That's actually like terrifying. Investigate the forest, optional. Obviously I'm down for an optional quest, bro, let's go. Bunch of fat little kids were driving scooters down a waterfall and a firefighter drowned saving them. Rumor has it the firefighter still haunts this forest. Oh, I just crashed. Just park the car really quick. 
Let's check out the forest. I don't know what the old dude was talking about, man. This is refreshing. This is nice. This is a really, really good forest area. Honestly, like top 10 forest areas ever made. I think this game actually falls into like the horror genre and the character models are scary enough. So like, I'm really curious as to what they're gonna throw at me in this forest here. Is that the dude from the park? Boss fight. is this apparently i'm in a boss fight um do i just have to avoid this what did i just die you were sadly run over by a naked man on a scooter wearing a fireman helmet just let that sink in are you serious if i die i have to completely restart is that a real oh my god I made it all the way back to the forest, and I'm gonna try and take on this firefighter again. Uh, I think I know how to take him out, or at least I think I know how to get past him, so we're gonna see what happens here. I may have been wrong. That tree fell down. I don't know what to do now. He sounds like he's gaining on me. Oh no. All right, brother. We're going off-road. We're gonna hit up this hill, we're gonna take it out, we're gonna get it going. Yeehaw, I got my liquor here, I got my half-eaten sandwiches, we all set to drive. As intolerant as that might have sounded, that's actually how people are in the town that I grew up in, so I can say that it's okay. At long last, I made it. We're at Sal's Burgers. I crashed the car. We can get a McRib. I mean, a, a Mr. Rib. Copyright. Oh, no, my God. What? If we look in the door, we can see that the Mr. Rib is on the menu. It's right there on the bottom, uh, right next to the crab sticks and the uh, the turkey bites. So we're going to go in, and we can talk to this officer of the law. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm too fat to fit through this door. Um, this uh, This might be an issue. Welcome to Sal's Burgers. My name is Pearl. How may I help you today, sir? Uh, yeah, I'd like a Mr. Rib, please. Sorry, sir, but we're all sold. Are you kidding me? The town is sold out of Mr. Ribs? Bro. Bro, the whole, the whole game is based off of getting a Mr. Rib. And you mean to tell me that they are all out of Mr. Rib sandwiches? <sighs> It's back. It's front. Couldn't resist a pun. So guys, all in all, throughout my time playing The Road Trip, uh, I had a lot of fun. It, it's a game that's not meant to be taken too seriously, but it's also a game that is meant to have a more compelling story than just fart jokes and fat people. Well, the style of the game is very, very funny, it's also meant to be taken as a sort of a puzzle game, and I found that through the various dialogues that I had with people. Now, with everything that you guys saw in this video, this was only like the first half hour of gameplay. I don't know how much campaign this game actually has, but the way that they're setting it up does make it seem like it's going to be a more expansive game, and I am excited to actually play through it. These kind of games may not be for all people, but it does seem like a good time waster if you have an extra five bucks laying around, so I would definitely recommend picking it up. All in all, guys, videos like this aren't meant to be reviews of games. I just saw this game on Steam and thought it would make an entertaining video, so I did my best to put together the funny clips that I found through my initial time playing. If you guys enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button. This actually was a lot of fun to make, and I'm interested to see where this game takes me. Uh, if you guys want me to, I can make a second part, but I would highly recommend just buying the game for yourself. With that said guys, I really hope that you enjoyed and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for all the recent support on the channel, it means the world to me. And make sure to follow me on Twitter too if you don't because I am going to be hosting a giveaway soon for 80,000 subscribers. That's a huge milestone for me and I really appreciate it. So make sure to stay tuned for that, the link is in the description. With that said guys, have a great day and I will see you in the next video. I finally got to the motel with the creepy serial killer dude. I'm the best. I'm honestly the best. I persuaded this man to not kill me, and I brought him all the way to this prostitute-infested motel, dude. I'm a champ. I'm gonna pay for you to stay a night or two here, like I promised. What?!